it's time for our catch up from earlier in the week with high focus DJ Sammy B side ahead of this weekend's Boom Bap Festival. BBC introducing. Hello, hello, introducing. hello, hello Cambridge. Hello, Tom. Thanks How you doing, man? Back. It's great to have you in. Thank you very much. It's always great to come down and, and chat with you. I'm, I'm doing good. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked. Well, we're going to talk a, a little bit about stuff you've been up to over the past year and a little bit about Boom Bap and a new event you're setting up. But before we get into that, for anyone who hasn't heard you before or doesn't really know about you, let's just have a little bit of a recap on, on Sammy B's side. What got you into DJing and into music? Jeez, let's, let's have a think what got me into it. I guess uh, DJing would be hearing the uh, the cuts on, uh, on old hip-hop tunes and being like, what what the bananas is, is that? <laughs> that? That sounds wicked catchy cuts on choruses and intros and things and like yeah when i heard that i was like how does that happen i want to know more about how that happens and that kind of got me into the more scratchy side of djing i suppose and uh, i suppose the other thing is seeing a, an old dmc video an old vhs years ago amazing of, uh, uh, blew my mind blew my mind and um yeah i guess that, that was it really got some decks i always remember like uh, nick carter who does the saturday show uh, me and him we love love our D- djing in the dmcs mm. and i always remember sitting there me and nick watching a video together i mean like really old school video probably <laughs> early 90s like you're saying like in the vhs style yeah and just seeing i can't remember who it was for the life of me he was the winner that year and he's doing his scratch routine and basically at the end of his set he like does a handstand <laughs> on his turntable <laughs> while the record's still spinning and he's yeah. like you nutter yeah I, there's been some crazy tricks over the years yeah it's it's, it's quite something and you can imagine as a really young kid watching that just yeah it's, it's incredible i've got a lot of respect for that that competition definitely well now you're living the dream yourself you are djing for high focus and and just about everyone by the sounds of it um, i mean last time we spoke you were out in australia with um with high focus for the tour yeah i mean since then what have you been up to how do you top something like that i mean yeah that was incredibly fun shouts to all the gang that that was that was mental yeah I, I mean i don't know it's a hard one to top but we yeah we've been busy you know not not quite in australia but we've been around so we've been to um where have you been recently we went to denmark um that was great been to switzerland equally great i just um finished a little tour of france with dyke uh, a few dates across france that was that was incredible and then yeah all, all the uk gigs newcastle last weekend uh keeping busy really <laughs> so. did you ever just kind of feel like you have to just to get up and pinch yourself every once in a while just because the amount of crazy shows you get to go do yeah sometimes you just go hang on a minute this this is bananas you know uh, it, it's you know I, I feel very lucky to be in the position i am re- representing with all my high focus gang a lot of them have been my friends since school and it's yeah occasionally you just you do have to take a minute and be like this is nuts lads and it was like yeah this is fun we, we like this but it must be amazing living living your dream essentially it's great i've got no complaints i recommend it to everybody <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So what are you doing work-wise at the moment? What are the projects you're involved in? Um, I guess uh, in terms of bits and pieces coming out, um, you can hear my cuts and slices on a variety of projects. Uh, I think the next one to drop will be Cracker John, who's a new signing to High Focus Records. Just done um, a whole bunch of cuts for that album. You can hear my cuts on the, the new Jam Baxter solo album, which I can confirm is done and sounds banging. Um, I've got some cuts coming out on... Uh, a new project that Dykes produced for Lee Scott, which is, yeah, great. I've um, got some cuts on the new Upfront album from Split Profits. Um, just did a little thing with local talent, Kimberly Newell. Um, yeah, massive fan of Kimberly. We had her in for a live session and just, wow. Yeah, she's she's great. So um, uh, lots, lots of bits and pieces uh, to come. Uh, new little high focus compilation mixtape that will be coming out in some form or another pretty soon. So um, I guess yeah, just <laughs> check the pages. Speaking of high focus, um, you guys held your um, your birthday at the Br- at Brixton Electric fairly recently. What was that like for you? It's kind of as a um, almost like a landmark moment for you. Yeah, I think that's a good good way to look at it. Really, it definitely felt like a landmark moment. It was an incredible night. Uh, ma- massive love to obviously you know Big Daddy Flip Tricks pulling it all together. Everyone, everyone who came and represented it was incredible to see that much love for UK hip hop. I mean, you know, we're looking at one and a half thousand, two thousand odd people or something all going absolutely buck wheezy to uh, all, all kinds of uh, UK hip hop. Not just high focus. We had all kinds of guys down there, and it was yeah, it was special, man. It was really good. Um, really enjoyed that. BBC, BBC introducer. introducer. 
talking about events, um, we're going to talk about Boom Bap very shortly, yeah. but not before we talk about a brand new event that you're getting involved in called Super Mega Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Give us yeah. the lowdown on this. What's, what's the crack? That's the one. Basically, Super Mega Bad is the future. If, if you want to know what the future looks like, it looks like Super Mega Bad. What it is, is uh, it's a new event that myself and, and Dirty Dyke are starting um, in Cambridge alongside our, our good friend Jimmy Danger. I guess we're just um, trying to bring back that SMB vibe that we used to do a lot of. There used to be a lot of SMB parties back in the day, which I wasn't so involved with then, but uh, I am now. And this this is this is the first one, I suppose. And it's it's we got uh, the legendary Doctor Syntax headlining. We got Pete Cannon. We got Jam Baxter and Ronnie Bosch doing a iPod sound clash. So that's that's going to be a lot of uh, secret pleasures will come out there. Um, looking forward to seeing how that goes down. We also got. Uh, Dirty Dykes open mic so all you budding rappers come through everyone's welcome I'm doing some open decks so I want to see all all the new DJs or any DJs in fact in Cambridge come down it's a friendly vibe four decks jump on and let's let's have a party 22nd of August Portland Arms I think this is great that that you and Dyker and Jimmy of course are choosing to put on an event like this because you know I think a lot of people certainly in the local scene uh, maybe you don't see it like that from from where you are because it's yourself but a lot of people who are up and coming look up to you guys in a massive way because you know you're out there doing living the dream that they want to live how is it for you getting to to check the next talent and and be able to give them advice and, and just help them with their craft really I mean, yeah, you know, it's it's, it's great. I mean, like you say, yeah, the, I just see them as nice, you know, nice guys from Cambridge. But um, yeah, I, I think it's great that there's, you know, the scene is, seems to be flourishing at the moment, and it's it's good to see a lot of new rappers and uh, beat makers and just you know all all musical stylings coming through. Love it, and I guess yeah, one of the driving forces behind us doing this event is to really get everyone together. Like I say, open mic, open decks. We really want everyone to come involved. If you if you're a beat maker, if you rap, whatever you do. Come Come and get involved. This is not some clicky weirdness. We're looking to party. <laughs> Come down. That's what we want to hear. So, yeah. talking about massive hip hop parties coming up this yeah. weekend, it's yeah. Boom Bap Festival. I mean, first and foremost, not not as a DJ, but just as a hip hop lover, mm. how do you feel? You know, a few days away from this event now. I feel great. I feel excited. I, I just checked the weather forecast. It's going to be hot, heat wave. So that's just added to my excitement. Yeah, I feel really, really positive about it. It's um. Boom Bat Festival is always, uh, you know, if you're a UK hip hop head, it's, it's got to be one of the highlights in the calendar. There's no doubt about it. And this year, it's just stepped up to a whole new level. I Completely, mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. What, what are the things you're looking forward to the most this year? I mean, yeah, if anyone who's seen the fly, you've just seen how much great, great things, how much great stuff is going on. So it's hard, hard to pick, but I mean, um, I'm really looking forward to the open mic, which I'll be doing alongside my uh, fellow Rhyme Pad Radio squad. Shouts to Stacker, B, C, D every time. Bang, bang. Um, but yeah, it'll be really good to see what the rappers come with. It's going to be a great uh, showcase of talent. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. If you were there for the weekend and you ended up in, in some state which impaired you from being able to get to see everything yeah. if there was just one thing you could see at this year's boom bap wow. what would be your hot tip for people who are going there just the, the thing you cannot miss jeez now that that is a that is a tough question i mean the whole vibe you know the whole the unity of the affair is really what what i'm looking forward to just everyone being together building music if you're talking about an act i mean I, i'm looking forward to seeing kaiser i think Kaiser has been a, I've been a massive fan of Kaiser for, for years and years and I haven't seen him play for a long time um, although there's many other great things I want to see I'm really excited to see Kaiser because yeah he's, he's incredible fantastic so after last year when you were literally Mr DJ for just about everyone on the bill <laughs> pretty much yeah. uh, is your workload a little bit less this year are you going to get a chance to actually enjoy the festival rather than <laughs> running from one stage to another to do DJ sets for people I mean you know you say workload it's, you know it's, I don't really see it as work it's, it's the most fun thing I could, I could ever hope to do really running around a festival of UK hip hop doing UK hip hop with people that's, that's my favourite stuff so I mean but yeah I, I will be busy I think at the moment I'm down to be involved with about six different sets um, over the course of the weekend as it stands and um, no doubt once it happens uh, there'll be more bits and pieces I get roped into but very happily so um, yeah I will be busy but it'll be good 
Definitely. Well, look, Sam, it's been great to have you in tonight, man. We've got you two uh, to pick a track out for us this evening. But before we get you to introduce it, a quick opportunity. If anyone wants to come check you out, find out more about you online, mm. where can they find your websites? Yeah, I'm out here. Social media, baby. I'm on all, all the stuffs, all, all the Google stuffs. Um, you can see me on Facebook, uh, DJ Sammy B-Side. Catch me on the Twitter. I'll be, I'll, I'll be tweeting them facts. <laughs> go, go check me on Twitter. Uh, Instagram, you know, the odd snap of, of whatever, I, you know, I, I see on my travels. Yeah, just it's social media, SoundCloud, all, all the usuals, all the usuals. Brilliant. Well, like we were saying, we've got you to pick um, an artist from the Boom Bap lineup yeah. and get you to bring in a, a cheeky little record that mm. you, you're going to play. What's what's this track and why have you picked it? Yeah, I mean, um, I've, uh, you know, it's, it's an impossible task to try and pick one, one track, but um, yeah, I, I guess I picked off, off the back of being very hyped to see Kaiser, I picked uh, an old Kaiser tune called Harsh Reality, uh, produced by Harry Love. Yeah, for me, it's just a, a complete banger and one of the reasons why I'm so hyped to see him live. So this is Kaiser, Harsh Reality. Yeah, uh, BBC, BBC introducing. Kaiser, harsh reality. That's our guest, Sammy B. Sides, pick from this year's Boom Bap Festival lineup. Great to have a catch up with him earlier this week. Absolutely top bloke. BBC, BBC introducing. 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 introducing.